am so in love with this foundation. Hi, you caught me super in love with my new foundation. This stuff is freaking very natural looking. Like, I feel like I'm wearing my own skin. Everything is nice and even out. I didn't even do like any concealing under the eyes. I just threw this baby on and that's it. That's beside the point that it's not what this video is about. This video today is gonna be on my top five hair care tips for hair growth. A lot of people have been asking me what I have been doing to grow my hair and what I am gonna continue to do to reach my goal, which is BSL. I need that bra strap length, baby. So that's my goal and I'm not far from it. Let's get right into the video. Because so the very first tip that I cannot stress enough is to leave your hair alone, ladies. Leave it alone. Just stop doing so much to it. Stop putting so much heat to it. Don't blow dry your hair as often. Don't flat iron it as often because doing those things can really damage our hair. I'm not saying don't do it at all because as you can see, my hair is straight. I'm natural and my hair is straight. So every now and then I will blow my hair out and, and get it straightened, but it's really not the best thing to do if you are doing it often. So try to limit the amount of heat that you are applying to your hair. The more you do to it, the more susceptible it is to damaging. Another thing that you wanna try to, to limit is chemical use, relaxers, hair coloring, bleaching, of course. I got my hair bleached about a year and a half ago. And I wouldn't really say that it damaged my hair because I really took care of it. If you are gonna bleach and if you are gonna color your hair, really, really, really take care of it. You have to really keep it moisturized because if your hair is dry and bleached, that's like hell. It's gonna break off, it's gonna be damaged because you're not taking care of it. So tip number two, keeping it up in a bun. I found that keeping my hair up in a bun really helped it to grow. Last year, probably about four or five or probably even six months passed and I wasn't really doing anything to my hair and I found that I have achieved several inches just doing that alone. Keeping my hair up in a bun, not bothering it, going back to tip number one, leaving it alone, I would moisturize my hair and seal it with an oil. But other than that, I was leaving it alone. So keeping it up in the bun, that works in conjunction with tip number one, leaving it alone. Keep it up in a bun. Keep it up in a bun. Tip number three, trim those ends. When you trim your ends, you're getting rid of any damaged ends that you may have. When your ends are damaged, it can split all the way up the hair shaft. That That's just like, hair that you cannot use. It's hair that's gonna eventually break off and you're not gonna have that length anymore. So trimming your ends will definitely help you maintain length. It won't help your hair grow. It will help you maintain the length that you have achieved. Our ends are the most, um, I'm gonna take these bracelets off because they're so freaking loud. But yeah, our ends are the most oldest parts of our hair. Anything old you have to treat with some TLC. But if your ends are really damaged, just go ahead and trim them off. But I still have some damaged ends as well. So every now and then I'll whip out my scissors and just do what they, I think they call it, like the search and destroy method where you just look for your split ends and then just clip them one by one. Like I see a couple here and it's bothering me. I'll show you guys really quick what the search and destroy method is. Zoomed in a little closer so you guys can see. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but I'm just gonna see if I could. My split in is at the tip here. You guys can't see this at all. I'm looking at my monitor and I know you can't see, but I'm just trying to show you. You know what a split in look like and you just take the strand and snip where you see that split in. And I actually, <laughs> I don't know if it's weird or not, but I actually enjoy doing this. Like I'll wake up and just start looking at my ends and seeing what's split and I'll grab my scissors out and I'll just start snipping. So that's how I do that. Other than that, I just trim my ends regularly. I'll part it section by section, starting at the nape of my hair and I'll use like a little fine tooth comb and then I'll just pull the hair out 
until I get to the very tips of the hair. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And then I just trimmed my ends the other day, so I'm not gonna demo this for you because I'm not cutting no more of my hair off right now. But um, yeah, once I get to the ends, I'll just snip the very tips of the hair. And actually, I see a split end right here. Yes, definitely trim your ends because it will help you to maintain some length. Even though you're getting rid of length, you're getting rid of those damaged ends, which will in turn help maintain the length of your hair. Because So tip number four that I have for you guys is to deep condition. I'll do it at least once a month. Um, but for some, that's not even enough. Some people deep condition their hair once every week or once every other week. Deep conditioning your hair can only benefit your hair. You're giving your hair that much needed attention. You're putting some moisture into it. You're just giving it a lot of love when you deep condition your hair. So this is the deep conditioner that I have been using as of lately. It's the ORS Hair Mayonnaise. Um, deep treatment is mayonnaise is something that's good for your hair. There's a lot of people who do like natural deep conditioners um, with actual mayonnaise. And basically it's just a moisturizing conditioner that strengthens your hair as well. So I have been using this as of lately. I also have been using a product by Carol's Daughter, the Mirabelle Plum Deep Conditioning Treatment. It's like a hair mask. My hair just loves the stuff. My hair comes out super soft. It smells good because Carol's daughter makes a lot of yummy smelling products. Oh my God, it smells so good. Definitely try to deep condition your hair at least once a month. That's the bare minimum. Try to do it at least once a month. The last tip that I have for you guys, which is really important, is to moisturize and seal in that moisture that you just put into your hair. And I've said that in several of my videos. I've mentioned it earlier in this video. You can use any type of moisturizer that you may have. They say the best moisturizers that you should use is something that has water listed as maybe the first or second ingredient in the product. The moisturizer that I use is the Lotta Body Curl Style Me Milk. This is mainly for curls but I use it a lot just whenever because it's a great moisturizer. When I'm wearing a bun, I'll spritz my, I'll get out a water bottle and spritz my hair down with some water and then I'll go in with my moisturizer and then I'll seal it and then I'll just put it up in a bun. You definitely wanna find a moisturizer that has water listed in its ingredients, um, either the first ingredient or second ingredient. That means that that's the most important ingredient in your product, whatever it is. It has the most of that ingredient in it. That's what that means. So moisturizing your hair and then sealing it with an oil. Some oils that you may want to use. I use my sweet almond oil. I've showed you guys that. But you can also use like a jojoba oil or an olive oil or a coconut oil. I used to use coconut oil a lot. Some argan oil. There's several different oils you can use. Just look up some tips on moisturizing and sealing your hair and you'll find a lot of good information out there. Our hair grows no matter what. I mean, I know a lot of people say that my hair just isn't growing, it's not growing. And the reason why we're not seeing the growth is because we're doing a lot to it. We're damaging our hair, we're not taking care of our hair and the length, we just can't maintain the length. Maintaining your length is very important. If you incorporate some of these tips that I'm giving you guys, you're just guaranteed to see some results. Another tip that I do have for you guys is to be consistent with doing these things. One thing that I'm not gonna include it as a tip, but this is something that I started doing around the time when I cut my hair. And I'm also gonna throw a picture right here of how my hair looks probably um, maybe a year and a half ago. This is how short my hair was cut and as you can see it was also very blonde but so yeah i'm not going to include this as a tip but it did give me a jump start that's hair affinity hair affinity for those who are not familiar it's a hair growth supplement that you take to help grow your hair out but i will definitely say that hair affinity helps help my hair to grow when i show you guys that picture just then Probably about a month after that, I started taking Hair Affinity. That second bottle though, I probably got into the second week of taking that, 
I noticed my face started breaking out like crazy. I won't put all of the blame on Hair Affinity though because I, I know that I wasn't drinking as much water as I should have been and there's something that they highly stressed when you pretty much start taking any type of hair supplement. I was drinking a lot but I wasn't drinking enough and so I really think that's why I started breaking out but once I started breaking out I stopped the hair affinity and I just um, focused on trying to get my skin better but I will say that hair affinity helped give me that jump start but if that is something you want to look into just keep in mind that you have to keep yourself hydrated. If you don't keep yourself hydrated it's a good chance that you're probably going to experience some breakouts. But yeah, so those are my tips, you guys. If you have any questions about anything that I've mentioned, go ahead and comment below and I'll go ahead and answer them. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed these tips. I hope you did because I really wanted to do this video for you guys because I have been getting a lot of questions about my hair. I didn't show you guys my hair. I don't think you can see it here, but um, my hair is actually longer in the back. Um, and my black shirt probably doesn't help but this is where my hair comes to in the front and I'll turn around and show you guys where it comes in the back as well. But I hope I'm in frame. Yeah, this is where my hair falls in the back. This is where my bra strap is so I'm not far from bra strap length at all. And as you can see, I do still have a lot of my gold um, blonde ends on there but I'll cut bits and pieces off at a time when I'm trimming my ends and so that's how I'm slowly getting rid of those but that's pretty much it you guys those are all of my hair care tips for you guys if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up I greatly appreciate it subscribe to my channel hit that button right there and subscribe comment below if you have any questions whatsoever um, I will go ahead and answer those for you and that's it so there's a style that I've been wanting to try for some time now now that I finally have some length to do that I'm gonna try to do a tutorial on it but I've been wanting bangs for a long time now but now that I have some length to play around with I think I can do it but it's the faux bang look it's the top knot with the faux bang I'm gonna play around with this because I've been wanting to do something like this for a while now and I really think I can do it now that's it bye